All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome back to another story time with Super. Get your hot tea going or your whiskey, whatever you prefer. I prefer the latter. Get comfy. Put on your favorite pajamas. And let's do this. Now, I want to start off this video by saying that this is going to be a story that I've told before, but I told this back in like 2014 when I was uploading Call of Duty videos. And obviously, I've gotten a bunch of new subscribers since then. And it's been a while since I've actually shared a story from like my childhood. Yeah, I was a teenager. You guess you can consider it childhood. Um, so here we are. Uh, I might retell a couple of them if like they don't have that many views and like not too many people saw it. I'm sure that there's going to be quite a, a bit of people who still watch my videos that are going to remember this story uh, because it's it was embarrassing at the time. And it was dangerous at the same time. I don't even know what the hell to call it. Like I called it funny a funny mugging story. You guys will see what I'm talking about. get comfortable here so this happened oh, I guess I should do it all professionally huh the year was 2006 it was a great time I was doing double duty when it comes to sports I was doing great in school 2.0 GPA was great in school for me <laughs> just enough to stay on the basketball team and the soccer team at this time the basketball season was over we got first place in our division didn't do much after I got co-MVP with another teammate at this time I was playing soccer junior varsity because it was my first like time trying out for the team i was pretty good i was a lot i had a lot more potential playing soccer compared to basketball obviously i'm only about 5 11 6 feet tall on a good day maybe when i stand up really straight you know stretch out that chin or stretch out that neck i don't know how you could stretch out a chin but i could stretch out my neck and make myself a little bit taller Stand on your tippy toes, you know. But for soccer, being somebody that's 5'11", 6 feet tall, and, you know, could run pretty fast. I don't have the endurance, but I could run really fast and was strong. I had way more potential to play soccer. Man, this has turned into a little therapy session, me letting out all my frustrations of not sticking with soccer and becoming a professional soccer player. <laughs> <sighs> All right, but let's go back to the story. I was playing soccer and also uh, after soccer practice, I would stay because the basketball team got invited to play in this like uh, like youth city, city league called the CCBA. I think it was like, uh, what were what was the actual league name central city basketball Associ association it was pretty much like a youth basketball team right like a youth basketball league so i would stay over we would practice late at night it was maybe like 7 p.m to like 8 30 um so i would get done playing like practicing basketball actually no it was earlier i would get done practicing soccer you know from six period all the way up until like 4 30 then I would take a break for an hour, come back like 5.30 is when we were practice up until like maybe 7.30 or 7 p.m. Uh, obviously, a lot of my friends played on the team. So one day I decided to ask them if they wanted to come with me to my ex-girlfriend's job, which was a Jack in a Box. It was on Vermont and oh man i don't remember what street it is the jack in the box is actually still there i think it was like vermont and fourth something like that vermont and fourth street it was by like the jack in the box is still there 
and it was the jagged box is next to a um, car wash and also after the car wash you have the Walgreens I don't remember what streets they're on but you know I told him let's go my girlfriend gives me free food which she did little perk right there I'm like all right let's go we'll get some free food you know not too much because it's three people I might get pissed off we go there sat down joking around laughing eating then we wait for my girlfriend to get off work she probably got off work like at 8 p.m 2006 los angeles in my opinion way more dangerous than it is now not like back in the 90s you know what i mean don't get it, don't get it twisted in the 90s it was fucking ridiculous but early 2000s mid 2000s like in the 2000s before 2010 i think it was like pretty fucking dangerous so we don't want to pay for the bus keep in mind we're fucking teenagers we're broke we start walking down down vermont going down like to fourth street and then to wilshire that that was going to be our plan you know maybe it would have taken like 15 minutes to get home walking so we start walking out of the jack in the box right side it's my friend carlos my friend eric myself and my ex-girlfriend start walking keep in mind we all have like our basketball gear inside like big duffel bags so we were kind of like asking for trouble because it looked like we were just getting in from out of town or something because it looked like we were carrying luggage around so we were the perfect perfect target to get mugged so we 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 were walking down the street then we see two guys coming towards us we don't think anything of it right because you see two people coming towards you down the street all the time but it is 8 p.m it's dark you know it's a pretty busy street but no car is gonna be you know nosy and like stop or anything like that right so as these guys approach us more and more they start looking back they start looking around and i'm like shit this is not good these guys are looking around all over the place to make sure nobody's around or close to us that is going to interfere with their work so obviously i start kind of uh getting a little bit nervous i think everyone in the group did as well but it was too late like what were we going to do we were in the middle of the sidewalk so there was no light close behind us or in front of us you know there was no nowhere to go so they approached us and obviously the first thing they say give me all your shit <laughs> that's literally how they said it like they're like give me all your shit empty out your pockets and give me all your shit it was two dudes one of them had a knife right like that i remember seeing the other dude was just lifting a shirt up I saw something, something there, something like metallic, it looked like a gun. I sure as hell was not going to find out what the hell it was. So my girlfriend at the time, she was older than us. So she was like 18, about to be 19, and we were all 16. And, you know, she starts talking shit back to these dudes. And I'm like, hey, baby, don't, don't, you know, like just let's just do what they say she gets pissed off at me i look like a bitch first of all but this is a lesson that i've learned a long time ago nothing is worth your life it sounds simple enough but a lot of people let pride interfere with their safety take all my shit I don't, I don't give a fuck. Leave me naked out in the street if you want. As long as I'm safe, anything could be replaced. I still look like a bitch, though. You know? You gotta admit, in front of my girl, damn. I look like a bitch. So she was talking shit, you know, to the guy, whatever. And he got a little bit closer with the knife. And then that's when everybody just, all right. So everyone is, you know, giving, giving out their uh their cash i didn't have a wallet like i didn't have like much cash i had like a little bit of cash like here take this change if you want 
they took the change. It's the most fucked up part, right? My, he's like, oh, do you have any iPods? That that shit was, it was a shit back in the day having an iPod. You were like, damn, you knew you had a little bit of, you know, you had some spare cash on you. So my friend's cell phone, bam, iPod, bam. I think my friend Eric had literally just bought, you know, one of the big iPods with like 150 gigs of space or something like that. And then it comes back to me. And this is where the embarrassing part comes. And I'll never forget it because, like, the story is mostly, it's a fucking, that, that's the first time I ever got mugged, like, for my shit. I guess not really mugged. I got stood up, robbed. So it comes to me, and I don't have a lot of stuff, you know. <laughs> but then I take out my cell phone. And the cell phone that I had on me was like a Motorola fucking it looked like it came from the late 90s that's what I was using at the time as a phone mostly to play like Pac-Man on the phone because I would get bored at school I would play fucking I'll play the little games on the phone and I'm like here take my phone and the guy grabs the phone looks at it looks at me and goes Man, I don't want this shit. And he hands me back my Motorola phone. Keep in mind, this dude took my change. He took pennies out of my pocket. Pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels. I give him my phone. He looks at me with disgust. Like if I insulted him. And he said... Ugh, I don't want this phone. Take your shit back. Man. That is one of the most embarrassing sentences, situations that I've ever been a part of while I was getting mugged, while I was getting robbed. The phone that I had was such garbage that the person who was stealing from us on in knife point whatever you want to call it at knife point the guy who took pennies from me he accepted pennies cents looked at me when i handed him my phone and saw what kind of phone it was with disgust in his face looked at the phone looked at me back and said i don't want this shit tossed it my way and then they left. They left. My friend walked to the Walgreens. The Walgreens has like a drive-by window where people could get their prescription medication. They called the cops. The cops came by. They interviewed us. They laughed in my face because we told them what happened. My, my other friends were not, well actually my friend Carlos was laughing because you know, they didn't really take anything from him like too important i think they might have taken his phone or i'm not sure but my friend eric had it the worst because he literally had just bought the ipod and they took it from him right so he was not laughing he was pissed off a trip to get a meal cost him his ipad or ipod uh my girlfriend i think it was just money that they stole from her maybe her purse but I don't think she had anything valuable in there, including her ID. I'm pretty sure she wasn't carrying her ID or anything like that. Actually, you know why I take that back? She was carrying her ID. She had to go get another ID, which is a pain in the ass. But, you know, she was more sad about the money going because, you know, it's, it's hard work working in Jack in the Box. Customer service, you know, people are rude. So we told the cops, you know, the cops actually started laughing at me, you know, so double embarrassed first all right let's recap first i look like a little bitch in front of my girlfriend because she's the one that's talking shit to these dudes i'm trying to calm her down right bitch <laughs> second this dude doesn't want my phone but takes pennies out of my pocket bitch and then these cops laugh in my face because of the situation and you know i'm like laughing it off right at the time i was i was fucking scared 
because it's the first time that that has happened to me but also at the same time i was so embarrassed to tell that story to the cops at the time bitch triple bitch and after that i don't think we ever heard from like the cops again they took down the report and we we went on our way i think they yeah they gave us a ride home actually so that was nice of them they gave us a ride home it was two patrol cars and uh you know two of them took my friend carlos and eric and then my girlfriend was living with me at the time yeah i know if you guys i'm sure a lot of you guys have never heard of like the crazy story of like the ex-girlfriend that i had and she moved in with me at when i was like 15. just search on my youtube channel you guys will see so i think it was my virginity story maybe i should retell that one again but they the other that patrol car took me and her back to our place and that was it one lesson that i did learn though is um never walk in the streets of los angeles looking like you're a tourist or that you have luggage on you in the dark it's not like it's it's not that way well i haven't put myself in that situation but i go out all the time and i'm like walking the streets of la like downtown not too much though not too much i will say that because my my apartment is like a couple streets away from like it's in the middle of like downtown so uh, it's walking distance to like everything but <laughs> i i definitely know my boundaries around downtown los angeles um but it's definitely it definitely feels a lot safer than it used to for sure but that is my story and i'm sticking to it thinking about it now it brings back a lot of memories because uh i had a lot of fun during that was my sophomore year in high school i had a lot of fun playing multiple sports um things in my sports career definitely went downhill after that if you guys want to know <laughs> what the hell happened i could tell that story too it was an injury or anything you know what i'll keep it short Never mind. I was I was going to I was going to say something, but I think I'm gonna keep it PG because you guys know how YouTube is. Uh, maybe I'll make another video where I actually like talk about that. Well, I guess I said bitch a lot of times, right? But bitch is also a female dog, so in reality, I didn't say any bad words. I uh, I got hooked on the pussy, plain and simple, at 16 became lazy stop putting in the work in school stop putting in the work in sports long story short there you go i just saved myself a video to make so any of you guys who made it this far you guys know what the hell happened to my sports career that never was got hooked on the pussy man 16 year old kid what am i supposed to do puppy love but that's it ladies and gentlemen i love telling these stories uh i actually love telling stories like i really do um but i've told a lot in the past i don't i don't know if i should like go back and say the same stories even though i have like a bunch of new people i don't know how many of you remember these stories from back in 2014-15 but there's some really funny things that have happened in the past including you know getting caught in third grade with a porn magazine um you know a bunch of like <laughs> stories with my friends when we go out is done some crazy stuff but i love telling these stories man i really do and that one right there is just one that always sticks out to me because of like the crazy situation of getting robbed and the person doing it doesn't want my phone because it's so much of a piece of trash phone but <laughs> That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.